we've really tried to embrace you know, the use of new technology in ICT in school because uh, basically it's down to student voice. Over the last few years, that's what the students have said. They really wanted to use or have more opportunities to use things like gaming in their lessons to really enhance their learning. So that's what we've tried to do. At saltash.net Community School, they've been using the Global Conflicts Palestine software, an interactive game that takes students deep into the heart of the Israeli-Palestine conflict, a thorny issue to tackle for any teacher. Some teachers sometimes can be a bit, little bit nervous about covering things like religion and, and conflicts and things like that. Um, they're quite sensitive areas, so uh, it's really important that a teacher approaches that in the right way um, and make sure that the students uh, you know, feel safe about exploring these concepts. When we first get the students to play the game we'd have a small discussion at the start where we talk about the conflict in Palestine, where Palestine is and a bit about the history so they get a general overview of what is actually happening. Who knows about Palestine? What do you know about Palestine, Joe? It's in the Middle East near Israel. And then they get to go on the game itself, which lasts 45 minutes. In the game, basically, you're a journalist and you get to pick a magazine that you work for. Some of them like, are on the Israeli side and some of them support more of the Palestinians. And you have to go around and sort of interview people and take quotes and put together an article telling about all the violence that's going on. The game is set up into chapters and it's, each chapter reveals as part of a story and you've got to express, you've got to find out the feelings of the people. The game is designed to mirror the ones students play at home with high quality, up-to-date graphics, something that engages young people. I'm quite surprised that we're getting to play games in class time, especially about war and conflicts and stuff, because it's quite a like harsh-hitting subject. Um, I think it's good that we've got a more interactive way of learning about that. Some people find it harder to learn with normal classroom and textile learning. They might find it easier with the computer games and many people like computer games and it's a modern way to get kids attention. Once they've played the game and they kind of formed their own opinions by writing their articles by playing the freelance journalists we come back around and have a group discussion and see if anyone's opinions have changed or new opinions have formed based on the Palestinian and Israeli conflict. So that leads the question who's in the right the Palestinians or the Israelis? Country of the Islam, so it's the Islam have more control. Yeah. We think they're both right, but they're both wrong because at the end of the day, the Palestinians have the right to not be barged in. Sort some sort of plan out and say, and half the land, and say that some people should go to one place and the others should go to the other place. It made me think about it more because I've heard about it on the news a lot, but I never really thought about it properly, and I think it's something important to learn. And know about. I think the games made me feel a lot more sympathetic towards people that are going through that because you don't really think about it properly. Playing the game's good because you're actually role playing so it's actually like you're part of that situation. I mean, when the students play the game they'll play it in an ICT lesson but it'll also help develop other links to different subjects. You've got RE which you know is religion to blame for this conflict. You've got the history side of things, you know, when did this all start? Um, the geographical references, you know, is it over the land, why is this land so important? It, it just, the game develops so many cross-curricular links and it just makes lots of good projects. I think games are a lot better than um, books because I know I do as well. I, get, I generally get quite bored of reading textbooks and playing games, you know, it's a bit more fun. Children want to interact a bit more so they want to learn a bit more and in the end they do.